Hey everybody, this is Pastor Megan at Grace Lutheran in San Francisco, this old church, and we are continuing our congregation sanctuary fix up because we're in the spirit of St. Francis from the San Damiano Cathedral where he dedicated his mission to fixing up the congregation and helping to grow the church. And so we are painting a wall today that used to be the altar wall of the original sanctuary of this congregation. We want it to be kind of, um, we want it to be a space that's helpful for kind of our online worship service, online, uh, Facebook backdrop, but also a place that is honoring the sacredness of the, the altar that used to be in that space. So today I'm going to show you how to do a Rothko-like inspired meditation wall. And uh, the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the wall and take the things that are off of it, patch a couple of holes, and I'm going to paint some uh, paint crackle on the cross with the hope that the gold will crackle underneath the blue paint that we're painting. So here's the first step. Next step that you're going to want to do is any painting that can be done on an A-frame ladder. An A-frame ladder is going to be more stable uh, than a ladder that just leans against something. And it looks like this. bit of painting you'll do uh, the tallest parts with a ladder that kind of leans against the wall and you'll want to do that with a helper who can help hold the ladder and keep you steady up there maybe someone who can hand you uh, the paint roller with more paint on it so you don't have to go up and down the ladder as many times step you're gonna watch out because you're gonna get a bit splattery um, I add some complementary colors to the paint so I do a section that I add a little bit of black and I just use little sample paints you can get them at Hope Depot they're little tiny bits add it to the base color that you've been using and then add a whole bunch of water and it makes the paint more like a stain so it will go on it will add some drips if you like that um, whatever you do on the highest if you paint it last, it will drip down over the stuff on the bottom and it will make a pretty cool effect. Anyway, let me show you how we did it.
because from far away it looks like just one solid color. But you notice as I get closer and closer and closer, there's some yellow, there's some white, there's some dark blue, there's some black. And that's what makes the, the Rothko style of wall really fun. Is up close, there's a lot going on. Far away. Looks like a solid colored wall.